So someone had left a comment on my last video asking if I can show you how I make my nail stand and I do think that would be beneficial to a lot of you. So here is how I made this one. First, I just started off with a paint stir stick. You can just pick these up from your hardware store for free, so no cost there. And you are gonna want to cut it down to size. So this one is about 11 centimeters and I did measure that in inches, so it is about four inches long um, for those of you that don't use uh, the metric system. Um, yeah, so about 11 centimeters, four inches. And then what you're gonna use is an orange wood stick and we're just going to cut these down to about two centimeters. Uh, I believe that's about one inch in length. And I'm just using my scissors and I don't know if you can see here, but I am rotating um, the orange wood stick around and then cutting as I rotate and then they do cut pretty easily when you do it that way. So I did just cut the pointy end off first and now I'm cutting my first little rod, um, which you can see is about, I guess it's one and a half. I didn't measure these ones, sorry guys. It's one and a half, like two centimeters long. But you are going to want to make yours to the height of your, your lamp. So you're going to want to make them custom for you. Don't just go by what I'm doing. So I'm just um, making them all the same length here, just measuring it side by side, and then cutting my next one um, so I did end up cutting four of them I do like to only put four down um, I, I find four fit more comfortably in my lamp versus five but then again it's um, custom to you so I do use bio seaweeds lamp and you can see here it fits in comfortably with enough room for me to also put my hand in and then you also want the rod to be um not too high because you do want the light enough space so that the light can cure the nails properly so you're going you're going to just want to measure it to your own lamp so here i'm just putting down dots as a guide for where i'm going to um, place my little rods to um, stick the nails on i don't even know why i put a ruler down i literally eyeballed it um yeah next you are going to need a hot glue gun and you're just going to place down a nice blob of glue on the dot you just made and then you're going to place down your little wood dowel upright and you are going to want to hold it so it doesn't fall down on you until it is dry and uh, i didn't let my glue get hot enough so it was a little bit stringy um, and then, yeah, that's it. So you just stick it down until it's dry, and then there you go, you have a little stand. And then you just keep on going with the next one here. And then you are going to want to um, reinforce them a little bit afterwards with some more glue, um, just so that they don't so that you don't push them over when you're you're placing the nails on because you are going to be using some pressure when you're pushing the nails down on top and you don't want to just basically snap the rod off of the um off the stir stick there so i'm just adding some more glue around the side and up the rod i guess um just to reinforce it a little bit more now I did the other two off camera and my glue had heated up a lot more by then so you can see um, they look a lot nicer. And so now I did find that the mounting putty doesn't stick directly to the wooden dowel so you do have to add some glue on top um, just so that you have something to stick the mounting putty to. And I do use scotch mounting putty i just get it from walmart you can usually find it um in the section where you would find wall hooks and things like that um yeah i do like the white one over the blue um i just aesthetically think it looks nicer 
when you're doing videos and things like that. And there you have it. That is your DIY nail stand. I hope you guys liked this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel because I do have a lot more to come. Thanks. Bye.